So today on this very blustery, windy, snowy day, we will be talking about the center of gravity of your RC aircraft. Now you might ask, what is the center of gravity? The point in or near a body at which the gravitational potential energy of the body is equal to that of a single particle of the same mass located at the point and though which the result of the gravitational force on the component particles of the body acts. So to basically make that simpler, center of gravity is a point on your wing, so it might be, let's say, one-third of the cord of the wing. Now the cord of the wing is from front to back, so let's say the center of gravity is one-third of the cord, so that would mean one-third of the way back from the front to back, so it'll be right here, and that is where your plane should balance on your fingers. If you put your fingers under the wing, your plane should balance levelly like horizontally at that point. So basically what that is, what that means is that you need to position all the electronics on your airplane so that your plane will balance on the center of gravity. Which mine in this case is in between those two lines on this plane. Now when I was a young noob I had some problems finding the center of gravity with my first plane such as that one right there. I had no clue where to put the center of gravity on that plane until I started reading the forms and stuff, but I had trouble. So now I'm going to teach you how to find the center of gravity of your RC aircraft. So we're going to start off with planes that have a uniform cord. Now the cord is the front of the wing. The cord is the measurement from the front of the wing from the leading edge to the trailing edge. Now as an example, this plane right here has a cord of 10 inches. That means from that edge to that edge is 10 inches long. Now finding the CG for wings like this is pretty simple. Um, as long as there's no sweep in the wings, which means the wings aren't like angled back or anything. See how it's just a straight rectangle pretty much? So the, the, um, it's pretty easy to find the cord for wings like this. Um, I usually go with 33% for the CG if I'm doing a wing like that and I would recommend you do too. So how to find the CG of a wing with a cord of 10 inches and the CG should be 33 percent. That's pretty easy. Basically all you do is head over here to the Googles and you type in 33 percent of 10. It's easy as that. It's so easy and basically so if 33% is your um, CG and 10 is your root cord. So if you're, let's say, um, the wing, instead of 10 inches from here to here, it was 20 inches. So basically, you just type in 33% of 20. And that should give you 3.3. So that means that the balance point for this airplane, or the CG, should be 3.3 inches back from the leading edge. So measure 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch. And right where that stick is, Remember that stick connects to the wing is about where the CG should be. So that's 3.3 inches back. Now on a plane like this, the CG is about the same even though it has those ailerons that add a little bit um, of length to the cord of the wing. The CG is about 33% on this one too. Um, so it balances right about where that speed control is or a little bit forward, about right where that white tape is. That's where it balances. Now what this means, let me put my camera down over here. Um, that means that if you go and pick your plane up by the wing, so if you put your fingers, let me adjust this, if you put your fingers under the wing right on that line that is 3.3 inches back, if, if this cord, never mind. So if you put your fingers on that line, that is 33% um, of the wing cord, and you lift up, that plane should balance perfectly level on your fingers. Now this one doesn't right now because there's no GoPro or battery. So basically now we're going to talk about how to find the CG for a delta wing. So there are quite a few ways to um, find the CG for a delta wing, but the first we're going to talk about is a flying wing center of gravity calculator. Now this is a pretty easy way, but um, it doesn't always work out perfectly, but it kind of can give you an idea of where the CG is. So you can basically Google flying wing CG calculator and you'll, it'll take you to a few. This is just a random one. So it gives you all these numbers that you have to put in and then it'll give you a CG. So um, we're going to do this now. First thing it says, the first thing it wants is the wingspan. And in this case we're going to 
do this for this little tiny delta one right here. The wingspan is 24 inches. So over here, where it says wingspan, we're going to put in 24 inches. All right, 24. The root cord now. See, it shows you what root cord is right there. So looks like this is 13.5 inches. 1, 3.5. Tip cord, it'll show you. Tip cord is right there. Tip cord looks like it is seven inches. Put that in, seven. Sweep. Sweep is from the front of the tip edge, or the front right there, to right there. So basically, we need to hold the ruler about right there so we can see that. Um, that we can see that and then we take this and put it across the tip cords and it looks like that's 8.5 inches. See how I did that? Um, 8.5 inches is that measurement. So that's the sweep as a distance. So 8.8. 8. Like that. As a distance. So yeah, that's the distance. Alright. Now you can see this. Update. So that's what this little wing looks like, as you can see. It's pretty similar. Um, so the wing area is 246 square inches. Uh, the MAC, mean air, MAC means mean aerodynamic cord, and that is 3.75 inches. But that means is a lot of stuff that I'm not actually sure what that means. But the CG distance, that's what you need right there. See that CG distance? Um, that's 6.8. 6.05 inches. We'll just round that to 6. So then if you go over here and you flip over your delta wing, you should go and measure 6.5 inches back from the nose. So as you can see, 6.5 inches back on mine is about right there. So that's about I usually run my CG a little bit farther forward. I use it, usually run it about right there instead of right there, but it would fly right there. So that'll give you an idea where to put the CG, and that is with a 20% of the wing. Remember on this one, it was 33%? Yeah, well, on this one, it's 20%. So you know, it gives you some options here. You can do 15% if you're a beginner. Um, that is pretty good. 20% for all around and then 25% for experts and you can do other but I don't recommend that. So basically you can choose one of those. Um, if you want to use this exact CG calculator here is the URL. I recommend um, if you want this you can go back and pause the video later. Um, I know LiPo Pilot records these shows so you can watch the recording and find that again and type that in. But if you don't want to do that, I'll just have it here for a second. I'll give you five seconds to type that in. One, two, and bookmark it. Three, four, five. All right, we're done. So I hope that helps you with finding the CG for your airplane. Um, basically, I never really use any of those methods I just told you for finding it. Because I've been building so many planes that I just guess on this where the CG should be. So for this plane, I just guessed that it should be around right there. And then you just maiden flight it and adjust it from there. But if you're a noob and you don't have no clue where any uh, your, where your CG should be, then those methods are great. So basically, I'm going to talk about what happens if your CG is off. If your CG was too far forward, let's say it was up here or something, and your plane would always want to nosedive. It would fly like it had too much weight in the front, and it would always want to nosedive no matter how much up trim you gave it. Now if your CG is tail heavy, then that can have the plane fly, fly all right sometimes, but your plane is going to pitch up a lot, it's going to fly slower, and it's going to tend to stall more. So that's um those are some of the consequences of having a bad cg well i hope that was um helpful for you guys uh excuse my not very good at explaining stuffness but anyways yeah that's basically how you find the cg for common wing types like delta wings and normal wings thanks for watching and bye oh yeah wait
One more thing. A lot of the times, if you're building planes from a plan, like this one, I got this plan off RC Groups, you can usually find the correct CG um, in that form if you just keep looking for it and stuff. As an example, this one, I found that the CG in the, in the form where I got these plans, it said the CG should be three inches back from the break of the wing. So right here, three inches back, that's where my CG was. Um, that worked out quite nicely. And if you're buying a kit or something like that, then usually in the instructions it'll tell you where the CG should be. So anyways, I hope that was a helpful video for y'all. Thank you for watching this episode of Fly in 5. Signing off, this is Daniel. Um, with Fly in 5. Woo, adios.